Here's a claim made by the glucose goddess about cholesterol. She says, and I quote, half the people who have a heart attack have normal levels of cholesterol. It's about inflammation and triglyceride to HDL ratio. So in this claim, the glucose goddess is minimizing the importance of cholesterol, presumably as a predictor of risk of having a heart attack, and instead points to the triglyceride to HDL ratio, which is a surrogate marker for insulin risk resistance and speaks to one's ability to shuttle glucose from the blood into their cells, which of course seems to be her primary area of passion. This idea that because half of people who experience a heart attack have normal cholesterol levels, we shouldn't value cholesterol as an important biomarker is something that I think is problematic. And I'd like to share with you a few reasons why I believe that. The first is that a great chunk of people who have a heart attack are on lipid lowering medications. That is, they've been prescribed medications later in life, presumably after decades of exposure to high cholesterol levels. What we have to realize is that when you are exposed to high cholesterol levels over decades, even when you're put on a lipid lowering drug later in life, there still is residual risk from all of the plaque that you've laid down before you intervened. So at the time of the heart attack, that patient's LDL cholesterol is not indicative of the LDL cholesterol that they've been exposed to over their entire life. Secondly, we know after someone experiences a heart attack, there are all sorts of acute metabolic changes. And one of these is that LDL cholesterol plummets by as much as 20 to 30% during the first 24 hours following the event. So again, drawing someone's blood after they've had a heart attack does not always give you an indication of the LDL cholesterol or even total cholesterol that that person was exposed to prior to their event. And the third thing that I want you to consider is that we know even at what's considered normal cholesterol around 100 milligrams per deciliter, people are still laying down plaque in their arteries and hence vulnerable to having a heart attack. It's not until you get down to an LDL cholesterol level of 70 to 80 milligrams per deciliter where you see little to no plaque. We have to be careful about putting too much emphasis on any one biomarker. Blood glucose regulation is important, and we know from many different types of studies, genetic, observational, and randomized controlled trials, that LDL cholesterol, and more specifically ApoB, is very important in considering one's risk of cardiovascular disease. And the earlier you get your LDL cholesterol and ApoB levels down, the better. If we get caught up in this idea that there is one silver bullet, we run the risk of A, confusing people, and B, failing to help people fully optimize their health.